minute waltz fades out there, ladies and gentlemen. Time once again for another Transformer Transformation Review with Ray and New Haircut. A new music which you heard at the start. That is called, that track I think is called Get Your Freaking Robot. And it's a new track that, I say new, I actually done it about two years ago, but that's just the edited version. I'm going to be doing it again as in singing the vocals again or need some new lyrics for some parts. But there you go, that's another one. Ta-da! Thank you all everybody who said it's good to hear the music. It's good to have the music back again. It really is. That's what my reviews were missing from the start. So, this is a bot, that, this one, that, uh, you know, now and again, they seem to get something so completely and utterly wrong. This bot looks and feels really unfinished. Everything about it is kind of makes me go, what? 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 Do you know why some of the Beast Wars 2 stuff is like, right, this is a, a, an Armada, initially, uh, it originated the Armada line, toy that just makes me go, right, it's probably the worst out of the Armada line, and there's a few buttons there, there is indeed, Armada and Energon have a few stinkers, and, but this guy is, uh, it, anytime this mold appears, it's always stinky. Except whenever he was repainted to Runamuk and Cybertron, and then he was still stinky, but it kind of worked because this, this black toy with misshapen limbs and misshapen head and torso. Do you know what? That's this 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 phrase, super deformed. He is com he is up. Absolutely super deformed. The only thing that isn't super deformed about him is his head, and this is why it, this mold fails all over the place, but succeeds in that it's as odd as a bottle of chips. Really is odd. A little bit of background, ladies and gentlemen, not enough to do you any harm. Sideswipe is an Autobot from the Armada portion of the Unicron trilogy. He is a green Autobot, he's actually blue. He's willing and eager, and also kind of dumb, he doesn't think before he leaps, gets really emotionally attached to commanders right away, and basically just messes thing up. Uh, Optimus thinks that somewhere in there is the markings of a future sh shoulder. A <laughs> future shoulder. <laughs> Despite his childish nature. Nature? <laughs> I can't speak Spanglish today. Sideswipe is apparently a capable codebreaker and does manage to make himself useful on a few occasions by deciphering Decepticon data. What does he turn into? A Nissan Skyline R32 Coupe. How about it, about? I don't care about that shit. He's a blue car. That's what he transforms into. The run amok is a black car. It's a Nissan whatever, what have you. The car is really successful. Now, I don't get excited about car formers unless they're Cybertronian generally or they're from their, um, the, the Unicron trilogy because you have these what are quite stylized. There's a lot of very cool cars from Unicron Trilogy. One of my favorites is Big Daddy, that kind of black and green muscle car. I love it, absolutely love it. I like this car because it's the kind of car your uncle would have. Do you know what I mean? That's what it looks like to me. It's so, it's so, it's so 1989, this car, just everything about it. It really is, it's an uncle car. Um, You know, it says even says Transformers there where it should say, Sid and Nancy or something like that. You know, I I like it. I like this car because it's just and I like the fact that the sigil here is it's it's it, it's it's not a decal, it's 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 in relief, which is cool. You know, there's there's you know, there's 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 texture to it which I really like. Uh nice looking little car. What's really cool is you can see Sideswipe's head in there, like he's having a little drive. He's positioned right in the middle, so I don't know how far he's gonna get. He's like this giant robot. Stuck in the cockpit of his... Do you call it a cockpit? No. The inside of a car, whatever you call it. I don't know. I don't care. I probably do know. And I've just forgotten. It was in Birmingham today. Not a lot to be found there in terms of plastic. Nothing very interesting. Dark of the moon stuff, but I don't care for that. Um, So, I see, he has his mini com partner is Nightbeat. No. He should have been called Nightbeat. Because you'll see why in a second. There he goes. He has a few gimmicks here yes he does he has a little autobot symbol there and it's nice isn't that it is a nice thing it's a dragster mode which makes me want to puke freaking thing always happens there you go there you go that's the dragster mode 
And I've lost some little vital components. Hold on. I've rescued them. <clears throat> so that's a dragster mode. No, it's not. It's not, is it? It's not a dragster mode. It's not a dragster mode. It's his it's his 1989 mobile telephone mode, right? Whatever. We will not speak of dragster mode again ever. So let me just get rid of that. That's an official mode. This the little minicon nightbeat. I like Nightbeat. I haven't seen him reincarnated or repainted at all. This is where Nightbeat sits. Oh bless. It's so cute, isn't it? Now, that just I I really like doing that. I like doing that. Nightbeat is a lovely little motorcycle. He's so cute and he's so retro. Absolutely adorable. Right. Transformation. Put this bad boy back. Now two little bits of his weaponry popped out. It doesn't like to stay in when you transform it or when you're hanging about with it, you know. So let's do this. Uh it's done it. Anybody need their haircut? So this shit comes down to the side. Now I'm just going to replace these where they should have been. That you will find in there. That little bit. And then this little bit. I will show you these in a second. It's just these these are where they're meant to stay and they actually don't stay there. Now, like I say, super deformed. Limbs all wrong. Just wrong, wrong kind of limbs. Let's have a look at this. His feet are so bad. Everything is just a mess. What do you see this? What do you see this? You'll like this. It makes me laugh all the time. So that's his Autobot logo there. Now something spins here. Oh, he's just, just done it. The head comes forward. Um, you tell me when I finish transforming this, okay? I know when I finish transforming it. And uh, so what you got to do now is try and pose him because that's it. Now let's um let's see damage limitation here. Now you see what I said. He looks like Nightbeat. He does. He looks like the Headmaster Nightbeat. There you go. But he sideswipe. Look at the legs here. Look at the legs at the front. All right. Those are the front view of his legs. Sorry. I'll just do this. Gives him feet, you know, but it doesn't actually improve him at all. It just lets you know that those shapeless, ma that shapeless mass below his waist are uh, possibly legs. Look, look from the back. He is the ugliest transformer from the back. He just looks half transformed all the time. It's utterly disappointing. It really is so, so freaking ugly. Have I transformed that right? I think I have, yeah. So um, <clears throat> let's see what we can do with this. Now, the thing is, he's got a lot going on from here. He does. He has a lot going on from here. Apart from the fact, I mean, this is an absolute mess, isn't it? Now, you see, this is weapon housing in here. The little blaster. Okay, good, good. And he's got this little bayonet. So, in his butt ugly hands, you know, everything about him looks like an ass. This guy is completely, utterly ugly. Um, You can give him his little weapon in one hand, if he likes to hold it at all. And you can give him this. He looks like wee willy winky with this in his hand because it just looks like he's got a, he's got a little candle and he's running through the town, upstairs and downstairs. Whatever, right? I'm going to take this out straight away because the best thing to do with this is to put it yes here isn't it ah yes we reverse that and so you give him this like little thingy weapon does that like to stay in his hand at all yes it does so there you go there's his little weapon it's kind of insignificant in the face of the fact that this bot is so very very ugly <sighs> he does have a lot of very interesting little gimmicks this will happen. You remember Dragster Mode? Well, Dragster Mode will allow him to do this power punch thing, right? So you can do that, which is fine, but it just makes him look even uglier, you know? Is that really, is that how a bot should ever look? Unicron Trilogy, ladies and gentlemen. Unicron Trilogy. He was repainted as Oil Slick and Treadshot. The Oil Slick one's quite cool. Um, That's the one that comes with Crystal Widow. Mmm, must have her. Now, let me just bring little night beat into the picture here right this is why i like him now i'll take off his little bayonetty thing right what's good is both these little weapons will store have housing at the other side of his his nappy i, I mean i i just can't help thinking that he's wearing he's wearing a nappy and for our american cousins he's got a diaper he's just got this big look at this 
like between his legs here. There's nothing you can do with it, you know. It's, it just uh, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like a big, it looks like robotic incontinence pants. <laughs> really, someone designed this. Can you imagine the CEO of Hasbro or whoever's in charge of Transformers and they brought this up and they said, "Well, we have this side swipe, you know." And it's like, "Well, give us a look." And they they were desperate and they put it on the table, and they looked at it and said. Right, well, you got to try harder next time. Who are you fooling, you fuckers? Now, but you know what? I'm pleased that he exists because I can show you him and rant about him and moan about him and say that he's so ugly. But still, I want it. I want it in my collection. The runner looks equally ugly, but he's black. He doesn't have a little cycle. He's got this kind of flip out weapon thing, which is cool. Now, mini comport here. What does it do? You attach little night boot. And you move it up and you move him up and down and is he does this thing with his with his arm, you know? Which is kinda cool, but I mean you can just do that. <laughs> it's really quite difficult to make it happen, to make it move. Look at his face. If you look at a picture of G1 Nightbeat, that's kinda what he looks like. Same colours and everything. Nightbeat. Mm. There you go. Now have we think about that buck on no. Have a think about that auto assembly. Can we get an auto assembly exclusive? That would be nice. Make him a night beat, and then he might be very interesting. Look at this. This is night beat. Uh, the bot mode is a bit crap, really. He has that wonderful bad thing that a lot of minicons has uh, from that era, which is um, uh, what what do we call wheel arms? He's not going to do an awful lot with his wheel arms. Um, why? Why does he have arms? See, I don't don't rationalize Transformers. This is why I just shouldn't try to rationalize canon or storyline or uh, their fiction or character profiles because it often just leaves me a little bit cold and exasperated. You know, by way of explaining why Nightbeat has wheels for arms, I don't care. Uh, you know, it's fine. That will do. It's cool. I'm cool with it. So, uh, this is uh, Sideswipe. Armada Sideswipe. He's wonderful and awful. Absolutely at the same time. Uh, very nice Nissan something or other. Don't care. Should have been called Nightbeat. And this guy should have been called Bumstick or something else. I don't know. It would have been nice. Nightbeat and Bumstick. Anybody want to try that one? Now that's what I call a robot in disguise. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night.